Hi, how you doing? Uh, so today I want to talk about the actual breakthrough that I had and uh, it came from a book I read by Dr. John Sarno called Healing Back Pain. Now if you're thinking back pain, what's that got to do with anything? Stick with me, I'll get to it. And uh, There's another book he wrote called The Mind-Body Prescription which is also very good. Okay, so before I get to the meat and potatoes of it, I just want to share with you that I have experienced people telling me it's all in your head, you're making it up, you're malingering, you, this is your way of avoiding life's responsibilities, uh, this is just, uh, you know, you, you don't, you, this is a vacation for you. Basically, you're imagining things, you're a hypochondriac, it's your fault, you're lying, you know, these kinds of things. And I know that this is infuriating because it's not true, because we are suffering. So then, why am I telling you this? Just to let you know that this is not what I'm saying, this is not what Dr. John Sarno is saying. What we're talking about is that the symptoms are real, the symptoms are physical. Your fatigue is very real, it's physical, your pain, your brain fog, all your other symptoms, the countless symptoms that you probably have are real and they're physical. I understand. My symptoms are the same. Now the cause of these symptoms is unconscious emotions. So there are emotions that we feel consciously, that we actually experience, but there are emotions that are also generated unconsciously and they never arise to the conscious mind, to the conscious part, part of us, so we never experience them. These are exposures like emotions like anger, fear, anxiety, guilt, shame, those kinds of things. And these are emotions that the brain slash the mind deems too dangerous too disruptive or too painful and thus it employs a strategy to distract our attention from those emotions to make sure we don't experience them it takes the energy of those emotions and directs them into producing physical symptoms pain fatigue etc so if this sounds far-fetched I just want you to keep in mind that emotions are real physical processes. Emotions don't exist in a world of emotions that's separate from physical reality. Emotion, like when you get angry, it causes bodily changes. When you blush, your cheeks get red. And there are many other bodily changes that emotions can cause, that your brain can cause. In this case, it's trying to protect you, at least a certain part of your brain is trying to protect you. Now Dr. Sarno puts things in a Freudian framework talking about repressed emotions. If that bothers you, you can think of it in uh, neurological terms, thinking of uh, unconscious learned responses that the brain employs. So for example, let's say you were a kid and when you were a kid, something's made you angry in your family, say your dad, just for example. And whenever you express those emotions, whenever you were able to consciously experience them and express them, it was, you got punished. Maybe you got beat or yelled at or whatever, isolated. So your brain has learned to suppress those emotions, to direct the energy that emotions generate into other places, generating physical symptoms. This is just one example of how this can occur. Uh, there are countless others. This is just to give you a taste. So this is the cause of our emotions. And then it's perpetuated by the fact that we go to the doctor and we're convinced that there's something structurally wrong with us, that we are broken. Yes, we're suffering. Yes, we've got symptoms and they can be severe and debilitating, but we're not fundamentally broken. We can completely 
reverse this process. This is my message to you right now. I'll get into more details in the future, but I just want to give you a taste of what we're talking about here. Life experiences, different social situations, diff problems at work, stresses at work, can all generate emotions. Some of them we consciously experience, but others remain unconscious and they can be causes of physical symptoms. Two personality traits that Dr. Sarno identified are perfectionism and goodism. So people who are very perfectionistic, very conscientious, you know, like to do a good job with everything, like to be thorough, responsible, etc. Those kinds of people tend to be susceptible to these kinds of physical symptoms generated by unconscious emotions. Also people who are quote-unquote goodists, people who always want to help somebody, or who have trouble saying no to requests, people who sort of sacrifice themselves for the good of others, if you will. Uh, those kinds of people also tend to get these kinds of symptoms generated by unconscious emotions. That's pretty much it for now. I just want to, again, I understand you've probably tried a lot of things, you've, there's, there have been a lot of people who claim to have the answer, so you might be tired of hearing, you know, people who have solutions. I, I respect that. I just ask you to stay open. You don't have to be hopeful because maybe you're tired of getting your hopes up and getting them dashed, but I'll tell you, it's working for me. I suffered for a long time, couldn't figure out what's going on. And actually, this is not the first time that I come across Dr. Sarno. The first go that I had with this approach to dealing with this issue, I was not successful. But something's different now, and I'm going to explore that later. But for sure now, I'm convinced that this is what's going on with me. It's most likely what's going on with you. It is reversible, and I'm going to be well, and I'm already much better every day I'm getting better and you can be well as well. Thanks for listening.